All right, this time on Supplement Lab, we are going to finally finish up Adrenal, talk a little bit about what's coming next, and uh, go over some energy systems this time on the Supplement Lab. Okay, so one of the things I've always had a little bit of beef with as far as people taking like various pre-workouts and fat burners and all this stuff, and they say, oh my God, it gives me so much energy. It's not true. It's gonna be a stimulant. It's gonna make you feel like you have this false sense of energy, but it's really probably something like, I don't know, caffeine, boosting dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin, making you think you feel like you've got energy when you actually don't. But caffeine does have an effect on something called cyclic AMP. We'll get into that. Now what really energy is in the body is this stuff right here, ATP. As you can see, the most important thing about this is it's got these phosphate groups over here on the side. It slings these around and that's basically your, your currency of energy. And ATP is essentially the electricity that your body runs on. If it weren't for ATP, your carbs wouldn't go anywhere and your fat wouldn't go anywhere and you wouldn't be able to move because this is basically how it all gets done. So, how does Adrenal do this? Adrenal includes two weird things if you've actually looked at this formula. One of them is creatine magna power or a creatine magnesium chelate. And then the other one is coenzyme Q10. And you see this on a nootropic and you're like, what are you guys doing here? Well, for one, having a, an ample amount of creatine is something that can actually help your body shuffle around phosphates. And I've got that in this sweet little drawing over here where ATP and creatine phosphate, they exist in this dynamic equilibrium with actual creatine and ADP, the precursor to ATP. That's a diphosphate that becomes a triphosphate. Anyway, these two things work in this equilibrium that's based off of this enzyme called creatine kinase. There's two different kinds, one in the mitochondria, one not in the mitochondria. And that reaction itself is dependent on magnesium. And that's really nice because we've included the magnesium basically in the creatine molecule that we've provided for you. So when it comes to ATP synthesis, most of the time this is a carbohydrate dependent thing as much as it is a phosphate dependent thing, but we've provided creatine as a phosphagen to help your neurons, creatine's not just for muscles, produce more ATP. But in addition to this, once we have this going, another effort is within the mitochondria, and this is where coenzyme Q10's domain is. It works in this fun little thing called the electron transport chain. It exists right there where that tiny little red Q is, and it helps shuffle electrons down to the end of the chain to do what? Create more ATP. And that's the whole thing. So having energy on a cellular level is not something that's just exclusive to muscles. It's not just for anaerobic workouts or endurance type workouts. It's for whenever you're working out your brain tissues too. So that's why we've done that here. The second thing we're gonna talk about closing up Adrenal is the delivery system. Now I've touched on this a little bit before, but I'm gonna touch on it a little bit again. We have two different active ingredients that are in Adrenal that are to uh, increase absorption levels. One of them is a black pepper four to one. It's got this thing called piper longumine, which is a really cool antioxidant, but it's also got this other alkaloid called guanosine, which actually has lots to do with cannabinoid reuptake. And uh, the third thing um, is uh, bioperin. Now this is a purified black pepper alkaloid that is an inhibitor of something called cytochrome P453A4. It's basically the bouncer that lives inside your liver and decides who gets in and who goes out. And when you inhibit this enzyme, everybody gets in. So all these other ingredients that we've got here in Adrenal, they get a free pass into the body, which is really nice and a limited amount of excretion. Um, so basically we're absor or increasing absorption through hepatic first pass metabolism. And the, the other way that we're increasing absorption is through the use of DR capsules. And I've gone through this before, show a little B-roll. We've got a gelatin capsule, this explodes within five minutes. You've got this vegetarian capsule, which is the next step up. This explodes in about 30 minutes. But if you go to the DR capsule, this thing resists breakdown in the stomach. It lasts a little over an hour, so it actually deploys into the small intestine. If you wanna get a little bit more information about these, you can check out Lonza, or you can check out our Adrenal write up on Glaxon.com. And I actually reference a few studies there. So that's it. This is Adrenal, finally. In a nutshell, it's really big. Um, <laughs> so we've done like, what, four or five videos? And now we're finally summing this up. I'm gonna see you next time that we're here on the Supplement Lab where we're finally gonna talk about this new thing, Glaxon Super Greens. We'll see you next time on the Supplement Lab.